standing out the back. And we are at light middleweight, 18 minutes, potentially the journey. Ray Anton Alate from New South Wales up against K. New Zealand. And this is a little bit of uh, Casey in a KO loss to Alex Artong in November of last year. That the Gold Coast Entertainment Centre, uh, the Gold Coast Convention Centre, and uh, Casey Hannon. Since then, has strung a couple of wins back to back and ready to return to his winning ways. Looking at the maths that matter, and six years separate the two, but the height and reach advantage both in favour of young Casey. Light middleweights coming your way. Let's go to Dave. Out of the red corner, please welcome Ray Anton Olate. And in the blue corner, it's Casey Hennan. Fight number five tonight, ladies and gentlemen, to be contested over six three-minute rounds at the junior middleweight division. First of all, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 66.1 kilos. He's had 28 professional fights, resulting in 10 wins. Training at the Bohol Gym in Liverpool, New South Wales, a former Philippines super featherweight champion. Please welcome Ray Anton Olaf. His opponent in the blue corner at 67.75 kilos. Six fights, four wins, three by way of knockout with one draw. He's fighting at the KO Fitness on the Gold Coast. A former Golden Gloves champion. Get ready for the storm, Cyclone Casey Hannan. If he goes there, I've got no problem with it. Just so you don't blow up at me, OK? He's a little high. All right, fellas, I've given you both the instructions in the dressing room. I'm going to remind you now. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Back you go. Best of luck to you both. Good luck, guys. Phil Austin. Yeah. Our third man inside the ring bears a striking resemblance to Goma Pyle. That he does. One of the finest. Now that's more like it, Andy. It's getting back to where we normally end up, isn't it? <laughs> two southpaws meet here. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't happen often. Two southpaws, if you're not familiar with the, the term and you're new to boxing. Two left-handers, so they stand right foot forward, right hand forward. Their left hand is their power punch. Interesting, we don't see it too often, but recently we saw both these guys in against uh, Southpaw opponents. Yes. Ray Anton Alade, Ryan Langham. We saw Casey Hannon, and Alex Atong. It's pretty rare you see it and here they are again against each other. And there's uh, Hannon in the black with the golden sponsorship. Olate in uh, the oh. Paramount Reels colours if you like. And I'm going to revisit the 80s here a little bit but Ray Anton is almost sporting I can't even think of the name of them. What a... 
The leg warmers. The leg warmers. They're not socks, they're not part of the boot. Oh. Saw the vision earlier of Casey uh, suffering a, a KO loss. November of last year. Only loss on his resume has since uh, come back and, and done it well. But uh, really needs to step up in regards to quality of opponent. Because this, this is a pretty talented young man in the black trunks. Yeah, I wouldn't underestimate Ray Antonolate. We've seen him in with some of the best Australia's had. You know, Lenny Zapp, Lance Costello, Samuel Columban. I yep. think we saw him down at Parramatta against uh, Nafel Ben Rabar not yes. long back. You know, this guy is, is no slouch, and Casey Hannon's going to have to be on his game. Four draws on his record, Ray Antonolate. One of the busiest fighters, in fact, one of the busiest gyms in all of Australia. The boys from uh, the Behold Stable. This is his fifth fight for the, the calendar year, and the calendar year's got plenty more days to tick off for Ray Anton Alate. He might get up amongst uh, you know, seven or eight fights for the season. He's a tough nut, not a great record, but a tough nut nonetheless. What about he's won the Philippines super featherweight title. Tonight, he's in at light middleweight. Yeah, there's a couple of kilos difference, <laughs> yeah. isn't there? a couple different. Oh, nice body shot there. Just didn't get it around enough. It didn't roll through it there, Hannah. Now training with Danny McGrail and uh, the boys from KO Fitness in Miami on the Gold Coast. Formerly uh, with Tony Nobbs and we'd like to again thank Tony Nobbs who's a very important part of the Fox Sports broadcast team in compiling uh, the stats and, and analysis. Hi. Thanks, Nobsy. He's here tonight. Was in the corner a little earlier of Oscar Telemar. Always great to see him. Let's go into the corner. We do so with Danny McGrail. Okay. Now the body back. Keep both sides, guys. Keep both sides. Yeah, keep both sides. Go to. Is that all right? Just cruising, mate. You're cruising, okay? Put the pressure on a bit more, okay? A bit more pressure. You're doing it or not? Got more water? Now it's up. I tell you what, they'll need a few more tubs of Vaseline the way they're going through it in the corner there. I thought it was Angelo Di Carlo rubbing Vaseline on him. <laughs> He's a known pest with the Vaseline. That was a pretty even first round, I thought. I, I didn't think anyone really took control. Hannon worked the body well, but uh, Ray Anton Alate, he, he counted quite well and got Casey Hannon with a couple of good shots. Six rounder, our first six rounder of the night here as we... Uh, Step up in quality, step up in experience as well. Main event, Alex Lee, Pai, Alan Beck. That is a little bit later on in the evening. Forgot to mention, uh, as we read through the, the list of opponents for Ray Anton Alate, uh, a tech draw with Sadat Tasky, the former world amateur champion on the Danny Green, Roy Jones Jr. undercard in December of last year. That is one of the draws on his record. As Hannum opens up here a little bit on a latte. Who invites him to come in for some more. Yep. That was better work from Casey Hannum. Oh, nice counter right hook there from a latte. was uh, Melvin Hernandez. I think we saw Casey Hanna make his debut in this ring at this venue. And he started off his boxing career as he takes a left uppercut from a latte. Like a house on fire. A quick first round KO from memory. Yep, it certainly was. A latte, he's very calm and cool and he's never phased about anything. Record in his last three fights. Three wins, three losses, one draw. So... 
he's, he's still an improving fighter, uh, Ray Anton Alate. And he, and he has to be, I think, to, to continue in the sport. Yeah. He, he just boxed quite nicely there, using his front end as uh, Casey Annan digs to the body in Alate. A couple of kept counter right hooks. Casey with a nine centimeter or three inch Ooh. reach advantage. I haven't really seen him use that effectively as yet. Getting in close, firing away to the body. Really trying to attract the hands high is Casey Hannum and, and then launch low. And those southpaws really likes burying that left hook into the into the rib cage. And the opportunity is there when you look at how high the right hand is of Ray Hand Anton Alate. Not even the right hand, the right elbow. There's three left hands right into the bread box. One thing when the southpaw meets the southpaw, he's, he's got to use his front hand a lot more. When it's southpaw orthodox, the power hand and the front hook come in a lot more than, than what you would with two southpaws. But here, you can use that front hand a lot more. Oh, as uh, Ray Anton Alata, he sets it up perfectly off the front hand. Back to the corners we go. Keep sharp, champ, okay? Keep sharp, box smart. We won that round again, okay? Finish on the body, you're doing real well with him, yep. Come up stairs too, finish up top. Or start up top and finish that, you've got to bury it a little bit, okay? Right. But you box it good, you box it good. You're going to go with Catherine Case, the front of the big hands go. We cannot punch it, mate. Okay, some of the highlights from round number two. Right. It is Ray Anton Alate and Casey Hannah. You watch it, watch it, move, move, mate, okay? You've got to push it. Well, Alante well, has had his moments, Chris. Yeah, right? definitely. I thought uh, Casey Hannon got that round. Yeah. Yep. But again, not by much. Here we go, round number three coming your way. Six round journey. He's in good nick, Casey Hannon, in good shape, as he always is. From the first time we saw him, he was always in good shape. Weighing in over one and a half kilos, heavier too than Ray Anton Olato. He's got to be careful here, Casey Hannon. This is exactly what happened with uh, yes. Alex Atongi. Come forward and not thinking, and he got caught. Doesn't have that genuine punching power, though, uh, like Alex Artonga, Ray Anton Alate. Just the one KO in 10 fights. He's an accumulator as opposed to a knockout puncher. This is good work from Casey Hannon. He's just got to be careful because Alate is trying to counter him, and he doesn't want to get caught with that one big shot, especially if he blows himself out a little. Come on, Ray, show me something here. Oh, don't worry about him, Phil. He's in no trouble at the moment, Ray Anton Alato. Oh, there you go. Yeah, nice and right hand. Oh, and again. By a lift and an uppercut from Ray Anton Alato. I think he might have a little bit of a wobbly boot. Casey Hannon. Yeah, and calls from the blue corner for Casey to get his hands up. The and he's tagged again. He's hurt, I think, Casey Hannon. The chorus led by Danny McGrail and seconded by Lee Sherrington. Alate, very simply with the left hand, got through the defences there. Too simple. Hannon's nose has opened up a little here. Yep, it certainly has. Oh, beautiful left uppercut from Anton Alate. Oh, and a left hook. Casey's in real trouble here at the moment. He has certainly been stung in round number three. And the longer this fight goes, the better Ray Anton Alate will be. Yep. History tells us that story. I tell you what, Casey Hannon has boxed two completely different fights here. From round one and two, and round three are completely different. He come out and he boxed at distance and he, he, he won the first, maybe the second round, he maybe draw the first round. Here he's getting beat comfortably. He just started coming forward with all out attacks, not thinking. I don't think the nose is just uh, bleeding. I think Casey's broken his nose here. 
is, uh, is slight swelling already underneath both of his eyes and the bridge of his nose has pounded right up. I think that's in part of the contract these days, Andy. Every time we call a fight, we've uh, got a broken nose to deal with. As Anton Alate's back on the attack and he's had a big round here. Certainly was a big round. Ray Anton Alate. Making life tough for Casey Hannum. Christian, can you give me the bag of ice, mate? Bag of ice in the bucket. Head back, head back. Okay, camera. I'll need the box on that jab now, okay? Get the jab working sharp. Don't build it, okay? Don't travel out fast, okay? Taking a look at uh, what was a Ray Anton Alate round. Yeah, you got the first couple easy, sir, okay? Very effective in what he did and how he did it, Chris. And didn't get carried away either. He looks so calm. He's, he looks like a very, very experienced fighter. Can you get the extra off his nose? Get the extra uh, Vaseline off his nose. How's that nose, mate? You all right? Okay, Connors, come on, let's go. Time! Time, quicker than that, Danny. Time in, box! He's still not steady on his feet, uh, Casey Hannon. As he comes forward, he's got to be careful because Anton Alate is just trying to bring him on. That that is exactly right. You, you almost took the words out of my mouth there. Oh, and he's oh, he's nearly gone. Big shot there from Ray Anton Alate, who is swinging oh, from the ropes here. Phil Austin's looking close. This ain't going to go much longer. How unsteady is he on his legs? He's certainly slowed right up. And we're going to take a look at this nose of Casey Hannah. Oh, his legs are all over the shop. They are not there at the moment. And that was right in front of the corner. Yeah, Denny, Denny McGraw has grabbed hold of the towel. Yeah, and I reckon it's... You kind of couldn't stop the bleed. It's pissing with blood and silver. Stop. Yeah, fair enough. Well done to Ray Anton Alate. I've got no arguments with that because Casey Hannon is in no shape at the moment to continue. I reckon Jenny McGrail, a uh, responsible trainer, would was, was just about to stop that regardless. Yep, I agree. I think he was going to let the doctor take his time and see what the reaction was. Uh, the, it's a busted nose that stopped it. The doctor has stopped it, but Casey Hannon was all but gone anyway. Yeah, well, we saw from where we were... Casey Hannum was walking towards the corner. He stumbled a few times over his own feet. Denny McGraw grabbed the towel off uh, Les Sherrington, and uh, I think Denny would have stopped the fight anyway. Round four, Doctor stops. Big, big victory to Ray Anton Alarte. Casey Hannon absolutely filthy. Disappointed for the young man from the Gold Coast, but it'll make the trip for Team Bahal that much friendlier and easier on the way home. Let's take a look at uh, how and why. And he was tagged several times round number three and tagged several times early doors round four. Yeah, he was in real trouble, uh, Casey Hannon. Credit to Ray Anton Alate. Backs up week in, week out against the big names. He finally gets a scalp. Yep. And uh, unfortunately for Casey Hannon, it was him tonight. Right, right, step back. Love the celebrations. We always talk about post-try celebrations in rugby league. What about this one from Ray Anton? Up. Oh, oh Phil Austin almost took one. He would have went down with that, Phil Austin. You're looking a little soft around the belly. Let's go to Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, at a time of 51 seconds gone of round number four, Referee Phil Austin has stopped the fight on the advice of the doctor. Your winner, Ray Anton Olate. Sugar Ray, R-E-Y. Ray Anton Olate, victorious for the 11th time in the 29 fight career. Good to see uh, the good guys, and they are, team behold, record a victory here tonight. Let's take a look at...